Remote learning begins Monday for students at Holyoke Community Charter School. This as the school grapples with rising COVID-19 cases and also the death of a student from the coronavirus complications. It's a story that we first brought to you exclusively yesterday. The family and friends of 13-year-old Gigi Rodriguez said their final goodbyes as she was laid to rest today. Now, more parents are speaking out concerned their child may be at risk. The Western Mass News reporter Brisaida Landa Verde getting answers from local and state school officials. I'm heartbroken. I, I don't know what to say. I have so much feelings. I'm mad. I'm angry. The family of 13-year-old Giada Rodriguez heartbroken on Friday as they gathered together for her funeral. Everyone feels numb. The eighth grader, also known as Gigi, attended Holyoke Community Charter School. She tested positive for the virus on October 10th and then died on October 22nd, her death certificate citing COVID-19 complications. Gigi's family says they believe she was exposed to the virus at school. It's devastating when they tell you and they promise you and they look at, look at you in your eyes and tell you the kids are going to be safe and they're not. Gigi's death sending shockwaves through the school community. One parent who did not want to be identified tells Western Mass News she now fears for the safety of her two children who attend HCCS. I don't feel safe at all sending my kids to school after what's going on. The school has been approved by the state for remote learning days next week. But this mother of two joins Gigi's family, saying parents should have more choices right now. Me as parent, I would like to have that choice of sending my child to school or keeping them at home or maybe even hy hybrid. I think that we're not given a choice. Western Mass News reached out to school officials who say they could not comment on Gigi's death, but they tell us the school will be remote starting Monday and all students testing negative can return to their classroom on November 8th. All of this out of an abundance of caution and due to an increase in COVID-19 cases, which public health officials tell us stand at 28 as of Thursday. Will you feel safe sending Grace back to school on November 8th? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Western Mass News is getting answers. We asked school officials if they would attempt to extend the remote learning period. They tell us, in part, we are assessing the situation on a daily basis and we are working closely with DESI. We reached out to the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to see if the remote learning process could be changed during the academic year. They tell Western Mass News the policy will not be revisited this year. The department makes decisions about remote learning based on circumstances at each school. They went on to say there have been other individual schools and classrooms that have been granted remote learning opportunities. Meantime, Gigi was laid to rest in Holyoke. Reporting for Western Mass News, I'm Brisa Delanda Verde.